Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying meters and kilometers in particular, but also the other metric units for measuring length. Now over here I drew one meter, this blue line. And one meter is exactly 100 centimeters long. You know about centimeters, right? Centimeters are found on your rulers, you know? I want to show you also, here is my ruler that has the centimeters here. These are centimeters, 20, 25 and so on. So over here approximately 60 and then we go from 60 all the way over there. And so 40 more, oh, 100 in total, makes one meter. The units of length that we have in the metric system are these here, used most often. Kilometer is used for long distances, like for example if you go bicycling somewhere or distances between towns. And this kilo here actually means a thousand. So one kilometer is a thousand meters, okay? So that's a long unit of length. And then meters, I showed you one meter. It would be for medium sized distances or things, for example, to measure the width of a room or maybe how long a house is, you would use meters. Centimeters you know about, those are the little units for small things. And then millimeters, do you remember those? Let me show you. Here's another ruler. And it has centimeters here on the top. You see the numbers 20, 21, 22, and so on, right? And each centimeter is divided into 10 little pieces, 10 parts. And those little parts are the millimeters. Okay? So they are really tiny. Now let's go on. And we're going to fill in these blanks with suitable units. So we would use millimeter, centimeter, meter, or kilometer over here in these blanks. The eraser is 24 something long, okay? What unit would you use? You think it could be 24 centimeters long? Something like that? Not quite. I think we need to use the smallest one, the millimeters, okay? It's abbreviated with mm. Mathy swam 400 something. What do you think? Kilometers? Meters? Centimeters? Oh, he's telling me. Yeah, sure. It's meters. You still like swimming, Matthew? Oh, yeah, he does. Okay. The room is three something high. Well, this is easy. I just told you about the room. And it surely can't be three centimeters, right? It has to be three meters. The fridge is 140 something tall. Could it be 140 meters? Surely not. 140 centimeters? Yep, that's the right one. How about millimeters? Okay, 140 millimeters would be actually 14 centimeters. It would just be something like that, so no, that can't. From Andy's home to school is three. Okay, now we need to use the unit for long distances, right? kilometers. Km. And then the mountain is 2,400 tall. Would it be meters or kilometers? Now we don't have mountains that would be 2,400 kilometers tall, okay, on this earth. It is meters. Okay, let's go. One meter is 100 centimeters, like I told you. How about five meters? How many centimeters would it be? That should be pretty easy. It is 500, yeah. How about 20 meters? If that's difficult, think about 10 meters first. 10 meters would be double that, or 1,000 centimeters. And then 20 meters would be double that, or 2,000 centimeters. And then 2 meters, 17 centimeters into centimeters. 2 meters would be 200. And so we get 217. Then 7 meters, 8 centimeters. Okay, the 7 meters would be 700, right? So 700 plus 8. 708 centimeters. 
Now here, a word problem. A bed is 1 meter 80 centimeters long and 1 meter 60 centimeters wide. Find its perimeter. I've told you before, what should you do when there's a problem about perimeter? Usually you should sketch a picture, okay? So let's draw this bed. It is just a little bit longer than what it is wide, okay? It's not quite a square, but close. So here's one meter, 80 centimeters. One meter, 60 centimeters. This will help you think. What was perimeter? You remember that now? The around measure, you go around. So for that you need to add the side lengths. So one meter, 80 centimeters plus one meter, 60 centimeters. And then also plus this and this, but I'm going to add these two first and then double that, okay? One meter and one meter makes two meters. But what about 80 and 60? We get 140. So that's one more meter there. 140 centimeters would make one meter 40 centimeters, right? So I get a total of three meters 40 centimeters for those two sides. And then the perimeter would be double that, six meters. 80 centimeters. Okay, here we have a box that is 55 centimeters tall. How many of them can you stack on top of each other in a room that is 2 meters 30 centimeters tall or high? Okay, a box. Let me use Matthew. If Matthew was a box here, and then I stacked another box and another box and another box like that. Okay, how many boxes could you stack in this room? Let's draw it too. If here's one of the boxes, right? And it is 55 centimeters. This way is here. If you had two boxes, two boxes, okay, let's put here two boxes. 55 and 55 is 110. That's one meter and 10 centimeters. And so let me double that, four boxes, 220. That's two meters, 20 centimeters, right? And that's real close to this. So four boxes still fit, but the fifth one wouldn't. So this is our answer, four boxes. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.